not, not a bad celebrity group in Cape Cod then, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that again. It's you? Yes, from Cape Cod. There's, right. there's me, there's the Pink Power Ranger, and the Kennedys, um, Edward Gorey, one of my favorite there artists. There you go, there you go. But that's, nice mix, you know, Nice mix of talent. <laughs> yeah, very cool. One time my sister was at, she went to the gym when I was still on Idol, and these people were coming up to her, you're Siobhan's sister, you're Siobhan's sister, and she's like, I just want to work out, you know, and she went, and they left her alone, and then this girl came up to her, and she's like, you're Siobhan's sister? I understand, I'm the Pink Power Ranger's sister. Oh, that's great, the whole little community. <laughs> <laughs> but what's it like having that community kind of embrace you kind of as, as their own? I know they can kind of look up to you, and you've been part of a lot of local events, it must be nice to be kind of embraced by where you come from. It's it's great. I couldn't ask for better support. It just is strange sometimes, especially when I first came home, because I was so used to being like an outcast. Yeah. And it felt strange to have these people kind of showing you adoration now, where before it was kind of like that weird girl from the Purple House. Because you know? <laughs> everyone from my town pretty much knows, oh, the Purple House. Oh, it's wow. like no yeah. one else... Cape Cod really had one then. Right. Is it still purple? <laughs> it is still purple. Very cool. All right. What, what's it like having that adoration, though, as someone who grew up however you grew up and, and, and were, were very unique in your own cool ways, and then have kind of all eyes on you? How does life change? Um, makes it, it takes longer to go grocery shopping. Yeah. But what's great is to be able to do things on a bigger level to help make a difference in our community and mm -hmm. something that I've been working on lately is is th this whole anti-bullying campaign and there's lots of different ones it's hard to find one to be affiliated with sure. because there are so many but I was able to perform and speak at a rally this past winter at Northeastern University it, it was called Stand Up 2011 and they had about four and a half thousand middle school and high school students come and do a whole day long thing about anti-bullying and stuff and one of the songs on my new album is pretty much about the topic about my experiences in school and growing up and mm -hmm. being the weird kid and so I performed that song and then I was I was kind of being a wisecracker I made a shirt because like maybe two days before, the last insult I was aware of that I'd been called yeah. was on Twitter, this guy who, he's a pain, and he was calling me a loser. Oh, Siobhan never got a record deal, what a loser, what a loser. So I made a shirt, I put loser across my chest. And I think it's fun because it, it devalues the word, it makes it meaningless almost to wear it and be like, but you see me and I'm just a person like you, I'm a regular guy. and. And it, it kind of takes the power out of the word, I think, mm -hmm. and makes it funny almost. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the kids thought it was funny. And so what I'm about to do, I'm, I'm organizing an event at my old high school for the kids where I'm, I'm asking them to do the same thing, to pick something that they've recently been called or one of the most you know, painful things they've been called, right. but, but wear it and kind of make it meaningless make it it's just a word it doesn't sure. mean that that's what you are yeah, yeah. Well, good for you that you're using all that your, your your platform and your talent to to ch change things now talk about all this all this success though all this comes from this great talent you have and this great voice you have and this great instrument Thank you. talk about how that's grown over the years and since idol and this album's so great just what's it like knowing you have that talent still and it's all kind of it's all kind of because of that this voice that you have that's um I think I'm just really lucky. I think I have a really cool job and I can't complain. <laughs> and I just I I try to do the best that I can with it and I'm always trying to do something different or challenging myself. So, I've actually been doing lots of different kinds of music and playing with several different bands. Mm -hmm. And um I finally have what's like the Siobhan Magnus Band yeah. for a big rock show. And we performed last Halloween at the Wilbur Theater in Boston. I uh -huh. did a show called Halloween Dreams and I made everyone come dressed up and we had a costume contest. And so I got to have two costumes 
and for Act One and Act Two, and we, it's a, it was a very theatrical concept, and it was so much fun. Yeah, right. And uh, that's that was kind of like developing the Moon Baby look. She's like my alter ego, right. like Ziggy Stardust. Kind yeah, of. Yeah. It's, I just I'm a theater geek, and I love doing that. But I also have a lot of background in jazz and competitive vocal jazz groups sure. and, and really classical choirs and stuff. That's mostly where I learned to sing was in choral groups mm -hmm. and in musical theater. So um, I'm, I'm also having another band now that's going to be performing like jazz standards oh, wow. and R&B and, and Broadway Very cool. tunes. So. Oh, good for you. It's, it's really fun. Then we've been doing acoustic shows, too. I just uh -huh. did, my birthday was like two weeks ago, and we did an acoustic performance of the whole album at a small club on Cape Cod. And we utilized this, this new website called Stage It, where you can, you sign up and make an account, and then you can stream your show live. Right. And people... You set a ticket price, and people buy tickets, and, and it's really interactive. It's just such a cool tool to use for people who can't make it out right, to get right. caught, or sure. you can watch it from anywhere. Very cool, very cool. Well, all that led up to this, and everything you're talking about, all this great talent, for this, <laughs> this amazing album that's been available online, and people can get the actual CD now mm -hmm. as well, right? Talk about how proud you are of, of Moon Baby and what it kind of says about Siobhan Magnus right now. Well... I, I'm so happy with the album, and what was most fun for me is I had no idea what it would sound like or what would come out of us. When I met the team of people I've been working with in Nashville, I wrote and recorded the whole thing in Nashville, mm -hmm. and um, I, I met them for the first time when we had our first writing sessions, and so Black Doll was the first song that we wrote, uh -huh. almost like an exercise, because we thought, well, let's write a song that's like a tribute to Edward Gorey, and then it's not so personal. It ended up being extremely personal yeah. because I found myself relating to his characters in his storybooks, but it was so much fun. And, and um, my favorite thing about the CD is that although I struggle with picking a genre to call it, it's they're all stories from my life. They're all true stories, things that have really happened to me. I might describe them in a bizarre, fantastical way, right. but they're things I really came up with because I've lived them. Sure. So it's, I like that it's kind of an insight into my life. And um, when you come off of American Idol, something that's kind of frustrating is people think they know you 100%. Right. It, people come up to you all the time I feel like I know you yeah, yeah. you say well that's that's really cool but you know five minutes a week of right. me is not all who I am of course, a lot more there's a lot know. more yeah. going on and right. so um, they're all just stories about my life so far and your fans are interested people I know you have a lot of Twitter followers and a lot of fans out there and people follow you what's it like having you mentioned a few of the negative side of things, but having a big fan community that actually embraces what you do and, and kind of follows your every move, what's that like as an artist? It's incredible. It's, I think it's something that most little girls imagine. Uh, when, I, when my big sister and I would be playing Barbies and make the Barbies, well, mine's a famous singer, and that's what you would do. That's what you pretend, and for it to become real and go, this is my job now. Holy smokes, <laughs> we're doing it. And um, I, I couldn't be more grateful. And I, I love to hear people's feedback. I think it's really funny to hear some people's interpretations, what they think the songs are about. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to spoil it. I don't really give too much away. Some of it's really personal. Yeah. So I leave it up to you to kind of take your own meaning from it. Mm -hmm. But to touch young people, to touch young boys and young girls who, who listen to your music and the stories and things you grew up with, what's that like knowing that you're influencing now other people and you're affecting it's them? It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I think of the people that influenced me most as a little kid, um, especially my older siblings and my family mm -hmm. and people that I admired and the Spice Girls and <laughs> yeah. things like that. What I think is crazy is the access people have to their favorite artists now 
like I think about if when I was eight, if I could just tweet Sporty Spice directly <laughs> and I knew she would read it and she might reply, I would die. Stuff, I don't know yeah. what you know. And yeah. now it's like normal. Yeah. But um, my favorite part is that I have two little sisters. They're ten and eleven, and they love to sing and dance. And I can tell they're going to be just like you know, everyone in my family is pretty musical or yeah. artsy. But um, what's most important to me is to set an example of what we're capable of. We're, we don't come from much, but we, we have wild imaginations. It's something that I share with my siblings. And just to be able to show them, like, look, I'm doing this, and you could do... My sister Kaylee, she already... She's such a good singer already that I'm like, you're, you're pretty much surpassing me <laughs> like yeah, yeah. she's nuts and um, my so my youngest sister years. is a crazy illustrator like she's drawing wow. up this all these like dragons and stuff that I can't all this where does all this creativity in your family come from is that instilled by, um, by boredom yeah. it comes from growing up on Cape Cod where the only things to do are like hang out in the woods or on the beach right. or with each other you're like what am I gonna do Draw a picture, right, right. learn a song, and um, and we just feed off each other. It's yeah. really fun. Yeah. Are you doing something creative every day? Whether it's even choosing something cool to wear or picking up an instrument, is that part of who you are on a daily basis? Mostly. Yeah. Getting dressed is challenging for me sometimes. It's almost like an OCD, and I, it has to be just right. I made this to wear just for today. Wow, very nice, very nice. <laughs> you always look so cool. Uh, Your look has changed slightly, but you always have something you. cool going on. I'm, I'm getting into some fashion design stuff that's very Cape Cod influenced, oh, like yeah. seashells and things, but my goal is to create something that's a bit atypical for the average Cape Cod standard of, you know, khakis, boat shoes, <laughs> Ralph Lauren polo shirt, and the, the color scheme of red, white, and navy. I'm, I'm trying to expand that to a more artsy, eccentric version. Like, it could sure. be a picture of a lighthouse, but why does it have to be red? Can it be teal? Right, <laughs> and sure. Things like that. So it's it's really exciting for me. Purple lighthouse. Yeah. Siobhan version, version of nautical. Yeah. Something totally different. Yeah. How much so is that still part of your life, though, living in Cape Cod? You haven't moved to Hollywood Hills. You're still living... Where oh, you, yes, we, my manager and I have our own office in Hyannis, yeah. and it's it's so important to feel like you're going to work and doing things, so we go, and we each have a desk, and we sit at our desks, and we, we go through our emails, and we brainstorm, and that's how we came up with this, this bully rally we're about to do. We got an email about the petition for Bully the Movie that's coming out sure. and to change its rating so that it can be shown in schools. Yeah. And we're like, well, what do we do? What can we do right now? And so we came up with, well, let's go, because what immediately affects me is going to my old school where my sisters are going to be in a few years. Yeah. And if I can make sure that that environment is good for them before they're there, you know, yeah, it's, it's very important to me. That's great. Talk about this. This is, is me. Um, it's not a voodoo doll. No. If you have one, please don't hurt her. Be kind. But my favorite thing is I have this outfit, exactly. We sent them a photo. Yeah. And they even gave it a little nose ring. <laughs> and the, this, these people make all different ones, and each string doll has a name and a little saying about them. And um, Tony, my manager, had given me one for Christmas named Emo. And it said, Emo, feel sad so that you don't have to. Uh. So I wanted mine to say... Siobhan feels out of place so that you don't have to. And the women who make them said, that's too sad. That's, <laughs> that's kind of depressing. So let's think of something right. happier. So we put, Siobhan says sometimes it's fun to be scared. There you go. Because so, And that is something that is like a joke, but at the same time, I think that the scariest things you have to do, like try out for American Idol, are the most worthwhile things that you will do. Yeah. You yeah. know, you're doing something right if you're terrified, I think. Do you watch the show now? Is that still part of your life at all? I you do a attention? little bit, but it's so hard to watch any reality competition when you know how it really works. Yeah. And you know more than most. It's, it's a lot like, um, I said this before, but 
It's a lot like Pavlov's bell, where when I hear the one na 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 na, I'm like, you go back to that. Ah, it's time, it's time, and it's it's still not out of my system. Right. Yet I I hope it will be. <laughs> but was there a time when you didn't want to think about it at all? You had to yes. really put it out of your system completely, yeah. 100. percent I got I got a good amount more tattoos. It was like a coping mechanism. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, I don't know what to do. It was confusing and weird. Sure. And, but tattoos are addicting, so. <laughs> what's, what's the newest? Newest. This, this one, this is another Edward Gorey wow. theme, but for my first dog. Okay. Very <laughs> cool, very cool. And do you, do you still feel out of place, you mentioned out of place? Is that still a part of who you are, feeling out of place, or have you learned to kind Oh, uh, yeah, but you embrace it. Yeah. I think that's probably why I came in sixth place on Idol. I, I think I was different or I don't know yeah. you, you tell me but um, I'm, I'm becoming more and more comfortable with it and it's exciting like it's fun to, I think of this is really cheesy but I love the show Bye Bye Birdie yeah and I think of the song that Kim sings how lovely to be a woman mm -hmm. Because she's just turned 16 and she just got pinned. Right, right, right. So she sings this song about how much fun it is to wear mascara and get dressed up. And and um, and it is. Yeah. Because I'm the most independent I've ever been and, and able to do all these things for myself. You know, when you're little and you're at home and you're like, oh, I just wish I could get a job so I could buy those shoes. But you can't because you're 10. And child labor laws <laughs> so it's just so much fun to grow up sometimes yeah. I hate taxes and I hate you know car troubles but sure. <laughs> you just keep doing what you're doing it's working out okay <laughs> thank <laughs> All right, you Siobhan. so it, don't hurt her Wait, I'll, I'll take good <laughs> but, care of her trust uh, me you can rock her on your lanyard yeah awesome <laughs> awesome well thank you very much thank you pleasure talking to you a quick little thing in